You weren't in your living room, so where were you? I was up in my bedroom on the second floor. There's another window facing that direction. Hmm, I see. This is fucking stupid. Are we gonna con are you really gonna continue this testimony? <laughs> Mr. Williamson, your witness's actions have been rather questionable. Just from this, I can only imagine that she might end up hurting her case. Do you wish for us to continue with her? Your Honor, the prosecution requests a recess. What for? I really want to play on the slide. Just give me 30 minutes. Alone. We can have all this cleared up by then. Oh, so you do have evidence to back up her claim. No, he's just going to bitch slap her a few times. <laughs> he's going to remove her mask. Listen here, you chuny be old bitch. I do. I stand by his statement that she witnessed the murder. That room, what room she was in at the time is irrelevant. What? As irritating as she may be, she remains the prosecution's witness. I trust what she has to say, liar. How can you trust her? It is a prosecutor's duty to trust his witness. Liar. <laughs> Even if you don't agree with me, I believe you can at least respect that. I guess I can't fault him for that. Yes, you can. <laughs> Nobody just blindly believes other people. What? It's the same way with me and the defendant, after all. Well, you're an idiot, too. That, oh, that got you in the freaking situation with that guy at the end of freaking game two. Yep. <laughs> I was about to say. Well, we will have a brief recess. Court shall resume in half an hour. Thank Christ, because I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. That was the 25th. Okay. I really don't like that guy. He's not my favorite prosecutor either. Oh no, I was judge. talking about the one with the mask. <laughs> not him. The other guy. The judge? He's not so... He WAS TALKING ABOUT HER! <laughs> no! The other guy! The one who was testifying! What did Waters do to you? Oh, that was a woman. Oh, the other guy! Come on, Phoenix Wright. He said he was a member of AF. There are any girls on the internet. Uh, this case sucks! Ladies, fall in. Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Not a single one. I thought that was a joke, but apparently he really believes it. <laughs> Mr. Books, I'm a woman and I know how to use the internet. No, you're not. <laughs> That's different. How? Speaking of that, Maya, did you find out anything during your eight hour splurge? I don't want to hear about Maya's eight hour splurge. <laughs> Not really anything related to the case, no. There's a lot of weird talk, though. But as of this morning, I'm officially a VIP on the... Really? How did you become a VIP that quick? You told her that you were... You told him that you were Maya? <laughs> yep. Yep. The Kurain Master. They were all really excited to meet Maya Fey, Ace Attorney's assistant. So in other words, they're more excited about your connection to me than they are about you. Come on, Nick. That's some real. There's some really nice people on there. Why is Salmonella on there? I thought he hated you. Exactly. Some of them are even offering to help advertise for their reunion. Yeah, that's the people you want help from. Really? Yeah. There's already a bunch of people around the world get working on. Really? Fuck Jesus you Christ. Christ. <laughs> They're making new flyers and everything. Trucy and I will be actually be able to get some sleep. Uh, 
Jersey's been running on 14 hours of no sleep. We managed to coordinate that overnight. Isn't it amazing how people who've never met each other can come together for a common cause? That'll help you know, me directly. It kind of is. Maybe I was wrong about this group. No, they're all fucking assholes. Okay. That's weird. Hello, random person. That that can't be her because this person has brown hair. Oh, okay. That's it's what the, we're asking. It's the guy from the cover art. Yup. Who's this guy? Is the prosecution ready to continue? Yes, Your Honor. It just arrived. Is what? it the guy on the stand? <laughs> My associate here can explain everything. <laughs> I don't... Can you take your headphones out? <laughs> do you want them or do I want them? I wouldn't even know where to begin. I don't know his personality enough. Eh. Go I mean, it's one. not like you haven't changed a voice five <laughs> seconds later already in this case. I mean, you did that with the freaking defendant. Yes, I did. It was fucking Richard Nixon at one point. Wow, it really was. Hey, y'all. May I ask who you are? I'm helping Obadiah with his case, sort of. You, you're kind of the black guy again. I don't care, dude. <laughs> Fuck voices. Sort of. It's complicated, isn't it, Obi? Correct. Obi? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like Williamson's too fond of that one. <laughs> Please discuss with us what you've brought. Right, so I have some stuff that'll lay the smack down on Wright's case. Wright's candy ass. Obadiah asked me to bring in some evidence for him. He had me run and get it for you during the recess just now. These the bru the blueprints <laughs> for the second stories of both the victim's house and the witnesses. As you can see, there is indeed a window in her bedroom that we, that faces Webb's house. That faces Webb's house. That faces Webb's house. And you can also very easily look into one building from the other. We all still on the same page? This guy seems yes. like a trick. Looks like she was telling the truth. This might really hurt my case if I let them present this. Do they have anything that can counter it? <laughs> Um, whether or not those plans are accurate doesn't matter. What matters is whether or not Miss Mask is lying about seeing the murder. Having more evidence is never a bad thing. No. <laughs> I'll just have to let them continue and hope everything works out. The court accepts these floor plans as evidence. That's not really true. <laughs> Oops. Did you need anything else? It said it was presented by Obadiah Williamson. This guy's not <laughs> Obadiah Williamson? Okay. He's his clone. So the bedrooms are cro Why does she have her computer pressed up against the window? Why not? Well, how's That's she going to see out the window? I mean, she can, like, look above the computer screen. Who says? <laughs> I mean, you just have freaking glare from the sun coming in through the window if you had the window open. <laughs> she doesn't get any sunlight. Have you seen her? Yeah. No, that will be all. You sure you don't need me to run some more errands for you? Laundry? Gr groceries? It's not like I'm doing anything important right now. Who the fuck are you? No, you can... Why are you so sad? You're about to cry again. You can he go. He wasn't opening his eye for a long time. I was getting worried. 
<laughs> See you, Obadiah. And right, I guess I'd better keep a watch on you too, hadn't I? Who the hell are you? He's probably going to end up being the prosecutor for the last case. Something yeah. stupid like that. We're probably going to end up defending Obadiah against him. Oh, God. I wouldn't put pull past full anything. fucking Edgeworth here. And he's gone, just as quick as he got here. I wonder who that was. Just somebody who knows Williamson, apparently. Yeah, totally. Just ask Williamson who he is. I believe we can continue the testimony now. Let's start off where we were before the recess. Don't bring her back in here. Hey, she's back. Now I'd like to remind you that you are currently under oath. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Please don't try to mislead us anymore. Why are you quoting the Ten Commandments now? <laughs> well, I mean, he is a preacher. I'll do my best. No guarantees or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back on the cross-examination? Just right into it, huh? Oh, wait, we didn't do the cross-examination. Oh, no, I didn't. Could you tell us a bit more about this? What, about me oh. online Yeah, we did. We did half of them. I thought we didn't, though. I thought we got to the end of the testimony and then it immediately went into something else. No. We, there, were, there were more after, like, the third statement. Oh, yeah. We stopped at the, at the one that we knew to object to. Yeah. There's a window in my bedroom. I can see Mr. Webb's house. I saw some movement out of the corner of my eye. No, that's... Can you describe what you saw? It was just a quick blur. Okay, so we've already done this. And I still can't skip it, by the way, because fuck me. <laughs> Doy, Doy, we've been over this about a bajillion times. That's, uh, that's about the long and short of this entire... That is the whole point of having the recess. We only had to do that because your witness doesn't want to get her testimony right. There we go. No, I'm... Whatever. Are you sure it was my client? <sighs> what? Are you sure it wasn't? I... well, I... damn it! <laughs> was there anybody else in the room with him? Was there a third person? <laughs> oh god, oh, no! Oh. So there's still a possibility. There's a third person. Nah, I didn't see anyone else there. That's Pretty not what I sure asked. Though. <laughs> well, sorry. Doesn't really matter, right? Mr. Webb is still dead. So he was already dead when she looked over? What should I do about this? I had it. I mean, sure. I think this is very important. I'd like you to add this to your testimony. Anything for you, honey? Slumped over on his desk. Okay. How do you know he was dead? <laughs> Kinda he easy to tell over. somebody who's dead. He was slumped over, obviously. He just had, had that look about him. <laughs> you know, fucking dead person look. Plus blood was everywhere. <laughs> blood was indeed everywhere. What is with this game in blood? Also, how could she possibly see the blood? That too. If it was on the ground. Apparently it's also on the window. Nobody nobody could lose that much blood and still be alive. So you're an expert on gunshot wounds now? So you are admitting that she did indeed see the victim with a bullet hole in his body. Not in his head. Well... While he was alone in the room with your client. No. <laughs> I'm putting words in my mouth now, Abadiah. Mr. Webb was slumped over on his desk. Yeah, Why that's... is there no actual photo of the freaking crime scene? Like, is this what we're supposed to present? Objection. Okay. You're lying again! 
Why are you always and lying? Not again! Fucking hate this guy. Huh? Uh, uh, yes, again! You said you saw Mr. Webb slumped on his desk, but that's impossible! If you look at the photo, you can clearly see that the police tape is laid out on the floor. He didn't fall over on his desk, he landed on the ground. Oh my, that's right. Witness, care to enlighten us as to how you messed up something as simple as this? I'm not lying, I swear. Your shirt says otherwise. Perhaps you can explain this a l this little inconsistency there. Well, you see, he did slouch onto his desk at first. He was face down on it. After that, his body kind of fell back over onto the floor. So I was telling the truth. Do you expect us to believe that? No, oh, no, Mr. Wright, there's no reason for us not to. Yeah, you know, the seven other times she's already lied to us don't indicate that she'd be lying again. Wait, she lied before? <sighs> Problem? Fuck God you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and there's a big problem with that, and I think you know what it is. The victim couldn't have been face down on the desk. Why not? Autopsy report. The victim was shot in the forehead at close range. He would have he would have had to have been standing like on the desk. I gotta say we don't have enough life for this. You say he landed face first? I say you're fucking stupid. Oh, why is that? The autopsy report said he was shot in the forehead. That means he was facing the shooter when he died. According to your own testimony, the killer was standing over by the wall. He was oh, facing away from the desk. There's no way he landed face first on it. This testimony contradicts even the basic facts of the investigation. Uh, you didn't see this murder any more than she heard it. Okay. It froze there for a second. <laughs> I was thinking of banging it a fourth time, but I decided not to. Miss, did you make this up? Oh no, Mr. Judge, I wouldn't dream of doing that. I believe you. I just mixed things up. <laughs> She's well, more mixed up than a bag of fucking Chex Mix. Please watch yourself. Oh, Chex Mix, I would like some Chex Mix. So would I, to be honest. I've got my eye on you and your Chex Mix. Jesus. Not like that means much around here. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, come the fuck on. Why? Why? Why not? Keep on doing it. Turn to the window, so I'm standing behind it. Mr. Webb was slumped over on his desk. I think he was dead. He was holding the gun. He was holding the, the gun? That's right. He definitely looked like a guy who just killed someone. Hey, just because he was holding the gun doesn't mean he shot it. <laughs> I think I recall a case where two or somebody was tricked into picking up the murder weapon. See, Edgeworth? <laughs> Let us not jump to conclusions, Your Honor. As far as we know, there wasn't anybody else in the room. We have no reason to believe anybody but the defendant fired the weapon. Was there a third person? <laughs> hmm, what about Mr. Webb? He was an evil criminal, after all. I highly doubt this was a suicide. I mean, Akihiko shoots himself in the forehead. <laughs> oh, well, if you insist. Did Mr. Webb get a persona? No. Persona! Do you remember which direction he went? Priorities, Phoenix. <laughs> Away. Oh, good job. Could you be more specific? No. He ran the opposite direction from me. He ran away. If you look at the floor plans, there really is only one direction, y'all. No, he direction, could go. 
That was out into the hallway. That's not true. He might have jumped out the fucking window. It's only a second story. Oh my god. What? Why are you coming up with an alternative, the alternate, alternate theories for the <laughs> Jesus? You okay? I wanted alternative. You got some whiskey in your beard? Yes. I got that, some ice cream. Mr. Rogue looked like he was having a hard time. I thought I'd help him out. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, this case is fuck. I appreciate the offer, but I can figure things out myself. Miss, did the suspect jump out of the window as you say he did? I never said he did, I said he might have. Oh god. You saw it happen. Why would you suggest any uh, any otherwise? Jeez, sorry. Well, this achieved nothing. Yep. I, uh, I think we should add this to the testimony. As you wish, a wise master. Uh, don't patronize me. <laughs> Is there a hallway outside? No, not that. It's <laughs> the other one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there is. Yeah. Did you see anything after that? Like, a third person? <laughs> no! He ran away! What about while he was running away? Did he do anything strange? He ran away. He was running away from a crime scene. That's suspicious, right? No, that's not what I- ah. Was there anything odd about the manner in which he ran away? No. He ran away into the hallway. <laughs> Did he have a funny walk? Was he part of fucking... <laughs> the Ministry of Silly Walks. The Ministry of Silly Walks. Was he a Monty Python character? But was there a third person? <laughs> was there a third way he walked? <laughs> he ran into the hallway, and then he turned and went somewhere else. Is that what you mean? No, not exactly. Where did he turn? Into the hallway! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. This is this case's third person. <laughs> there was liter literally only one direction for the killer to run. Did you even look at the autopsy report? Not the autopsy report, the floor <laughs> plan. Look at the autopsy report. <laughs> If you saw where he had been shot, you would know which way he ran. I could tell you myself which way he went, and I wasn't even there to see it. This does seem a bit pointless right now. What should I do with it? Add, add it. it. I think we can. I think this is very important. I think we should add it. Really, you sound like you're doubting yourself. That's because I am. Very well. The witness will amend her testimony again. He ran off into the room on the left side of the hallway. Left side? Wait, what? What? <laughs> she didn't say that. So he ran... That's the witness's home. Uh, oh. The left side of the hallway. So he ran into this room? <laughs> How would she see that, though? Fuck knows, dude. This case is stupid. I'm sorry, this is a bad case. This is not good. <laughs> did you see what he did after the- <laughs> He ran into the hallway! No, he ran away. Okay, you know what? Nick, take it easy. Don't lose your cool, that's exactly what she wants. <sighs> <laughs> you know what, Maya? I think after this case, I might just retire. Go back to playing the fucking piano. Drinking your grape juice. Don't do that, Nick. She isn't that bad. Yes, she, she is. She is, Maya. She really is. Oh. I'm saying four plans on... Yeah, that'd be my guess. Ran off into the room on the left side of the hallway. Objection! 
I object to objectionable puzzles. There, you did it again. Did what? Look at the blueprints we were just given. If we were to turn left in the hallway, he'd run into a closet. That's a big closet. Yeah. A closet's like half the size of his room. Yeah. That wouldn't, wouldn't be much be... of an escape now, would it? It's a closet, then it would be connected to his room. It may not have been intent. Shut up, Opadiah. Perhaps he didn't know that the room led there. But... I doubt that was the case. He's been there before! With as much time as Mr. Book spent there with his friend, one would assume he had a basic idea of the rooms in the house. Hmm. Well then, are we to assume that he knew the building, but yes? He would know to run down the stairs to get out of the house. Good lord. In that case, perhaps he went there to... Wait. Wait what, Mr. Williamson? I think he's just realized the problem that this creates. <laughs> really? Smug-ass Phoenix. If Mr. Books was familiar with the house, as I'm sure he was, then he would have never run into a dead end like that, especially not on that night. What? Not on that night. Fire. He would have known about the fire or something. Yeah, you're looking at the freaking cheat thing, aren't you? No. That's logic. But it doesn't make sense. Like, the fire... Word. He shot him, and then he ran out. If we're to assume that the fire took place after the murder, then he wouldn't have run out like that. He would have set the fire. The fire would have all had to have already been running if he or going if he ran to the freaking left. Unless he shot him and then started the fire immediately. But then how? Like what would the, what would stop him from just running down to the front door? <sighs> I don't fucking know. He did, but then he left. I seem to recall there being two very big things happening at the build in the building at the time, and the killer's very life depended on avoiding both of them. One was the noise from the boombox. It was already drawing in the neighborhood's attention to the house. Or was that staying too? In there, staying in there any longer would have risked him getting caught. The second was even more serious, the fire. If he wasted his time by hiding out in some closet, he might have been burned to death. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whether or not the killer was Mr. Books, there's no reason he should have done anything other than getting the heck out of that building. <laughs> Sorry, prosecutor man. I guess I just got it mixed up. Oh my god. I can never tell my left hand from my right. That's a personal problem. I take the time to bring in those floor plans to cover for your mistake. And you mess things up for yourself again this quickly. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. May God's judgment fall upon <laughs> you. I wonder how big the grin underneath that mask is right now. Good lord. What the- Okay. Just how many times are you going to lie to us today? Jeez, what if it was doing these faceless accusations? Face- What did I ever do to you? I'd hardly call exposing multiple flaws in a single testimony to be baseless. I've just shown the court two separate reasons why you couldn't have seen the murder. Yes, I would have to agree with this. Mr. Williamson, I, I don't suppose you have anything to defend your witness? Your Honor, I have tried defending her. She seems perfectly content to continually make things worse for herself. Mm, giving up already, Mr. Wilson? Not quite. It is apparent you wish to be completely unpredictable, and I can play that way too. Your Honor, the prosecution requests further testimony Why? from the witness, please. And this is where we stop.